How did this all come about? How did we all end up here? Uh, isn't that an interesting question that I just posed? It's truly a challenging time, perhaps the most challenging time any theater company has ever faced. We're re under really tight uh, shelter-in-place restrictions, and so, you know, how can you possibly um, cast a production? And as the artistic director of Broadway Virgents, community little theaters, non-equity group of Vermont, I am charged with keeping the creative light lit in this town, if not the state, if not the whole Northeast. I came to Brian with this idea. Uh, I just read the play and I knew that we had local talent. I had to let him unleash this creativity. We're artists and just because there's a pandemic, we're not gonna stop creating. And that's where the idea sprang to do uh, this American classic, 12 Angry Men, but for a 2020 sequestered audience. And of course, to use chickens. Can you remember that water cooler move? I think it's really interesting to look at. Did I ever think that in my career I would be doing a, a show with chickens? No. But here I am. But that's the, you know, the tension of this, of this moment. And yes, and stay hydrated because table. Is this, okay. this isn't the real table? So, no, it's the same, it's the same dimensions. Okay. And everybody ready? Lights. <laughs> I don't talk about my directing process because I leave, I leave all the art in the room. I, I have a very Russian approach in terms of the timing, and uh, we're trying to unite the the unities of space and time within the context of this larger story about these um, chickens. When you're deciding someone's fate, um, how, yes, good, that's it, that's it exactly, just what you just did. Okay, great. So I'm just going to show it to you one more time. Are you ready? And, and it's pony, and pony, and pony, and pony, falaf, falaf, and shuffle up to buffalo. Let me see you ready, go, five, six, seven, eight. For Jens, also known as uh, the little city uh, here, in, here in Vermont, one of the reasons I love this place uh, is because they are always ready for an artistic challenge, and they challenge me. <laughs> Every day, every day I walk down the street and someone's like, what was that you, why did you do that? It's like, it's interesting the way they engage with us. So um, I'm gonna make a little cash change and I don't want you to tell the other ladies, but we're gonna put you in the leader role. Okay. <laughs> it's like that old saying, you know, when life gives you lemonade, then what, who, who, who brought me these lemons? But when life gives you chickens, you put on a show. <laughs>